Framed by Malawi, Tanzania and Mozambique, Lake Malawi is situated in the heart of Africa, at the southern end of East Africa's Rift Valley. An inland sea of clear, fresh water. Its depths are home to the greatest diversity of endemic fish on the planet. The lake extends more than 600 kilometers from north to south, is up to 80 kilometers wide, and in some sections is over 700 meters deep. Diving just off the coast is like being in a gigantic aquarium. Around a thousand species of dazzling kitchlids inhabit the rocky reefs around the three islands. It's not necessary to dive deep to observe the Malawi kitchlids. The most colorful varieties are to be found just below the surface. Most kitchlids graze red algae from blocks of granite. Crabs trap small creatures that have been startled by the fish. Nankoma, Maleri and Nakantenga are the melodic names of the three islands northwest of Cape Maclear. Due to their remoteness, they have survived as a natural paradise. Near the shore, young fish hide from large predators among the reeds and beneath overhanging tree branches. The craggy rock scenery of Lake Malawi was not always below water. Only when the southern part of the East African Rift Valley filled with water did it become the home of the Kitchlitz. With the exception of Valisnerian, a kind of seaweed, Lake Malawi contains little plant life. For as soon as anything grows, it's devoured by the kitchlets, leaving only bare rocks. Tilapia kitchlets constantly defend their young from the lake's many predators, who are in the majority and wait for any opportunity to attack their prey. Although the fish seem to swim around chaotically, they actually have well-defined territories which they defend against intruders. However, they do tolerate various other species. Deep canyons and crevices create a fascinating scene and the visibility is beyond all expectation, even for a freshwater lake. During the day, the kitchlids busy themselves in their search for food. While some graze red seaweed, others catch plankton and larvae in the open water. Each year, eagles nest on Zimbabwe rock and are accustomed to visitors. They're often fed by fishermen and therefore have little fear of man. From Zimbabwe Rock, it's a short journey by boat to the northeast side of Tumbi Island. Here, an underwater canyon is home to several fish. All Malawi kitchlids are closely related. 
They developed from two species of immigrant river fish and adapted their shape and behavior to their new environment. This development was favored by the water level of the lake, which has increased by more than 300 meters over the last 50,000 years. The large Campango catfish can't leave the nest for several weeks, otherwise the young would fall prey to the kitchlets. However, kitchlet mothers keep their offspring safely in their mouth. As long as they have space, they remain well protected. The disadvantage is that for one or two months, the mother must remain hungry. At 30,000 square miles, Lake Malawi is, after Lake Victoria and Lake Tanganyika, the third largest lake in Africa. In the depths just off Mumbo Island, bizarre craters rise from the muddy seabed. Some of them have a diameter of more than two meters and are one meter high from the seabed to the top of the crater. They're not volcanoes, but the leks of male kitchlets. As soon as the leks are completed, the dazzling blue males present themselves to the plain colored females in all their glory. A few meters from the shore are numerous aquatic plants that are an ideal location for the kitchlids to raise their young. On Lake Malawi, there are a small number of tiny islands, some inhabited. Most are not, as they are relatively inhospitable and home to countless species of birds and lizards. The full exploration of these regions has only just begun and several new species have been discovered on land and below the water. Evolution is endless. Colorful lizards have also made it to the islands on driftwood and have continued to proliferate here. Man's own development began here in the Great Lakes of Africa, an amazing enigma of creation. Today, Lake Malawi is still known as Lake Nyasa, which in the Yao language means big water. A unique experiment of nature. The Lake of Stars is a paradise of nature where in 1980, the southern section became the first national park in the world to be used for the conservation of freshwater fish.